Hello, hello. Hi there. Welcome. Um, welcome to the art party. So my name is Erica Bariga. I'm a watercolor illustrator, painter, and I am going to test out some new um, some new paper. And it would be awesome if you painted along, drew along, pitched along, or just hung out um, and chilled for a while. I'm going to check and make sure that you can hear me. Showing that we're live. Showing we're live. Great. And you can hear me. Perfect. Great. And you can hear me. Perfect. All right. Okay. So I've been working on my setup for a while. I can see your chat on the side with my iPad. But let me find a good spot to put this. I just had an idea before setting this up. So let's see, is that good? You won't see it, right? Good, perfect. Okay, so I got this, um, this new paper. I usually paint with hot press paper. Um, I love that it's flat. It used to intimidate me for the longest time because it's so flat and doesn't have those nooks and crannies, but now it is my favorite. So funny how things change, right? Um, so I heard about this from Jenna Rainey. And she has a YouTube channel and she's an amazing artist. Um, so I want to try it. I haven't been painting on like legit watercolor paper in a while um, or a watercolor block. Like this is a block of paper. So this is all glued on the sides. And then there's this little area, like an inch wide, um, where you can stick like a butter knife inside and then you can slide it um, along the pages to separate the paper from the glue. What's nice about it is that you get this sopping wet and it won't move. Um, so you don't have to worry about your paper uh, warping and moving all around on you. Um, instead, this just stays flat. And But I, what I have been working on a lot is this mixed media uh, notebook, which I really love, and it's Canson XL uh, mixed media paper. It's thinner. Um, the pages are thinner, and if I got this sopping wet, it would um, curve up um, and uh, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I haven't used the block in a while. So what I was going to do is just try and put some and I'm off. And before we go any further, you know, this is just to hopefully take your mind off of everything else that's going on in the world right now. Um, it's pretty serious. I like to keep it light here, though. Um, just wanted to let you know that I'm not avoiding it. I'm aware of it. And I just want this to be, you know, um, a place of joy and a place of calm and peace and happiness. Just want to add more of that into the world. So um, whatever I can do to help with that, I'm more than happy to. Um, as a result of everything that's happening with stay-at-home orders and all that, um, I have my two little ones with me way more. Um, hubby is able to work from home, thank God, and um, it's all it's all good. So if you hear any craziness, that's what it is, is that two little two little girls they're five and seven mama yes speaking I'm of <laughs> can, can, can i please have a little a piece of 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 that red yes if daddy can cut you a piece okay where is he? He is taking a shower. I think he's almost done, though. Where is he? I think I hear him walking around. 
Be patient. Calm down. Okay. Anywho, hi. <laughs> hey, CD. Hello. All right. So I'm going to swatch some. And if you're working on something, let me know what you're working on. That's so cool. If you're into watercolor, just like watch. Um, CD is on, Christy. And she is an amazing watercolor artist, mixed media artist. She even messes with all, all kinds of stuff. It's amazing. Um, me, I tend to stick with my watercolor <laughs> because I will get shiny object syndrome and just be working on all the things. So here I'm going to, this is, um, what is this, Opera Rose, Permanent Rose? Once you have your palette for a while, it's hard to remember exactly what the colors are. And I keep watching so many tutorials and stuff that they're using like opera rose and things like that. I can't remember if I have opera rose or permanent rose. But here's that. Yeah, it's cool. You can see it. That's awesome because I sketch so lightly. So yeah, I'm going to do swatches and then um, see what it looks like on this paper. And um, and then I'm going to paint the cupcake. I've been painting, I mean, I've been watching art streams and Wendy McNaughton is amazing. Hey, Jamie. She is a really great teacher and she's been doing these um, art streams on Instagram at 11 a.m. my time, mountain time, Monday through Friday. And the subjects that she does is so cool. Like so far she's done um, a bike, which is like the best bike that I've ever drawn. Um, yeah, this bike was because of her. <laughs> and I'm like, while I'm doing it, it's just so, so amazing how some people can just break things down in such a way that you didn't even think of before. It's just cool and that's why I keep um, keep learning because it's amazing. But yeah, so she did um, Bicycle and Pub. She did, let's see, Cupcakes, um, Unicorn Farts uh, because last week she was um, doing a sense every day. So, you know, all five senses for all five days and for smell, for Friday was unicorn farts and it was hilarious. So yeah, I like her. She's funny. Okay, so let's do some cadmium red. Ooh, I really do like this. Already I'm like, okay, I see what all the fuss is about, Jenna. This is nice paper. Do you see that gradation with my pink? Whoa. That is awesome. Amazing. Loving that. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, this is gonna be good. And I missed the like real paper. <laughs> I had to go with convenience, you know, and it works well when it comes to making my prints because I make art prints and um, it's still really good paper. It's just a different, different vibe. But um, yeah, I make art prints and I have digital uh, planners that I put my illustrations into. So it works just fine for that. Um, they're both pretty high quality, but this is nice. So I'm mixing up some cadmium orange with my pink mix here, getting some analogous colors going on. This is so nice. And I've been geeking out on uh, setups, on camera setups and all that, so anything that decreases the friction of me actually hopping on here and saying hi, 
and answering questions and all that. Um, it is wonderful. So I'm excited. Things are about to change. Right now I have um, my webcam on top of a iPhone slash iPad stand and it's working for right now. Mommy. Yes. Did you even see this at front of your legs? Yes, I did. Gave them to you. Oh, you gave them to me? Oh, thank you. You want to see what she gave me? Hi. Oh my gosh, we have five people here. Hi. Let's... We have four people. We have four people here because humans are four and then we count the lovies all. Oh lovies. my gosh, I can't even count the lovies. That'll be like way too many. Okay, thank you, baby. Okay. All right, so um, bittersweet thing yesterday was my dad's birthday, and we couldn't hang out with him because obviously we need to stay at home. Um, but it was awesome. We did run the webcam, and it was all good. And now I can tell you what I what we made him because he's got it. He just texted me and let me know that he finally got it in the mail. One day late, no big deal. But um, I, I told the girls that he loves lemon. He loves sour, so much tart. And so when I told him that, I just said, okay, well, we're going to make him something with art and just go with it. And um, so I made, I painted a lemon cupcake, which is like what this is based off of. And um my oldest did lemon meets lime and they were hugging and um, my youngest did a lemon cupcake of her own and it was really cute so that is top of mind but we had a great he had a wonderful birthday Gosh. All right. I'm obsessed with this. Spoiler alert. I love this paper. Have any of you used this paper? Do you have a favorite? And I have two water jars. I've been told to use two water jars forever. I'm finally really starting to do it. We'll see if I really keep up with it. Okay, so those are nice. I think I'm done with swatches. I don't think there's anything else I want to see. Actually, I want to do one more swatch and put some um, salt in it to get a really cool texture. So. Okay. Ooh, what's gonna happen if I mix this pink and this blue, cerulean blue? It doesn't give me a muted purple, but I like maybe a little bit more. There we go. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of that. Ooh, that's nice. I think that's permanent rose with cerulean blue. Pretty nice. All right, I'm going to make another lemon cupcake. So it was nice. I usually go live on Instagram the most, and then Facebook, and then now YouTube. And it's funny how you just have a different vibe on each one. Clear 
there's no space on my palette. I love to have a messy palette, but sometimes if I'm working with like a yellow, I just have to finally clean the area of it. I really want yellow. I'm forgetting your wide shot. You can see that. Okay. love it when I like a paper because just like you were saying CD the other day um, yesterday because she's been going live on YouTube as well um, when you get sketch pads and you just decide to try them you don't know what it's going to be like for the most part it's really really kind of risky <laughs> and this paper is not cheap so nice to um be pleasantly surprised and this isn't bad it's like 16. i think it was like 16 bucks on amazon for 15 sheets so that's really good because arches and fabriano are kind of I have a Patreon, Patreon page. Uh, yes, absolutely you do. Um, yeah, I have a Patreon where there's different tiers and you get different things every month. And um, Juliet is one of my patrons. Pretty darn awesome. Um, yes, a Bone Maman jar. Yes, it is. What are your favorite flavors? Mine are raspberry, apricot, and I think that's it. Strawberry is third. And sometimes they won't let me not get strawberry. So I just, do. but that ras raspberry on a croissant, that's like an instant vacation. Makes you feel like you are on vacation. Ooh, blackberry. I haven't tried that. <laughs> <laughs> I love that emoji. Dab in. I love it. <laughs> Too funny. Oh my gosh, it is the best jam. Mm -hmm. And I collect so many of the jars. I was like, okay, now this one can we throw away? Like, we are good on them. And I'm still like, no, there's still room up there. I'll save that, you never know. I love them. So yeah, I was up till um, I was up till two the other night, two two thirty, researching camera setups and everything. And I found one that um, cannot wait to get all the pieces for. Um, it's uh, putting a, a boom mic up on the side of your workspace, and then you can have um, a clamp on top and there's these things called friction arms so they have three arms that have it's like here's an arm and then here's an arm so like this is the ball joint and then just picture like another one over here and when you tighten it up then it's all really tight and then on one end you can put they come with a clamp too so you put the um, clamp on the mic stand 
and you have the stand on top of your workstation like this and then you have it holding your phone or holding your webcam and then I can go up and down because you know you can move the boom mic up and down so I'm excited it's gonna be good guys can't wait um I love how used obviously your paints are <laughs> thanks yeah I don't even know how old this is. It's probably at least almost 10 years. Yeah, almost 10 years I've had this, um, this palette with different paints, but I love this palette so much. It's like perfect size. When I was talking about friction earlier, if that was something, when I first started, I got this huge palette, um, plastic, and um, yeah, that was hard to move around. I don't know what I was thinking. I need things to just be small and really accessible. I don't want to move that. I'm just going to dry it. I think my preferred brand of paint is Winsor & Newton, just because I'm so familiar with it. Um, a lot of my friends have ventured off into Daniel Smith, and I know about some iconic colors uh, that I like. I think I only have like two um, that I've purchased, or Moon Glow and a Pale Pink, I think I have, but that's it. Yes, British. <laughs> I think that's my favorite. I'm trying to drink more water, guys. Look at, isn't this so cute? Love Beaker. I got a three set, three bottle uh, mystery bag. And they gave me one that's that color, one that's like a, a paler pink, like a blush. Yeah, like a blush. And the other one's spiky. It's in the same color family, but it's spiky. I, I never grabbed the spiky one. But it's helpful because, again, I can have them all over the house. I'm trying to get better. Yes, like you. Go ahead, girl. Love it. <laughs> so, yeah, good times. Let's see, I think I want to do blue, like a blue green. Okay, switch to my cat's tongue brush. I used to use this brush all the time. Oh, so if you are completely new here, you might not know my backstory. Um, I just recently became an artist full time. I've been at this for a very long time, um, like 2009. But I was always working corporate job and it just kept building from a hobby to something that I really love and that I only want to be doing this. So um, late September, I finally had my quit day. It was amazing. Different um, when you've been in corporate for 20 plus years, but definitely a good change. So I'm just like trying to get used to everything and it's been wonderful, but it's like right when I get something together, something else happens. Like, hello, what's happening in the world? So it's just a trip. It's been a wild journey. I'm still learning. So I finally have the capacity 
to get this to where I want it to be. Um, speaking to you more and sharing more, exploring more, it's great. Um, I feel like I'm asking all the questions, but hey, Erica, do you recommend, recommend buying a large selection of paints from the get-go or can you make do with just a few? I would absolutely say do not get a ton of paints from the get-go and start with a select few. I went backwards um, with that and I think it slowed down my, pro my process in getting better and understanding what I was even doing. Um, with my watercolors. So yeah, I would say to start off in it with a small amount um, because then you can learn color theory and it just helps you with everything, not just being economical with what you buy as far as paints and supplies go, but your color theory is what impacts your art and how things look um, cohesive and put together and um, polished the way that you'd like them to look aesthetically pleasing so yeah definitely start with small selection start with Mary's red yellow and blue those, those are where all the colors come from um, and then you mix those up to get your secondaries and then you mix those in between colors to get your tertiaries and when you understand how colors relate to other colors and it doesn't have to be super complicated either when I was thinking about color theory the reason why I avoided it was because I thought of a big color wheel and you just saw those, those huge um, charts where they mix like a million colors. It's like all the possibilities ever. And I put that off like for a long time. It doesn't have to be that deep. Um, once you get the gist, you should be good. So yes, exactly, color theory. I have a class on teaching you color theory. It's on color mixing. Um, so we go through, you make your own color wheel and we talk about that. So you can see that at my site at fluximagery.com slash learn. And I have online courses, um, for that. So now I have one where you do the color mixing, um, going through the colors, like I said, and then you have a watercolor mermaid, uh, paint by number that I just released like within the past two months. It's on Skillshare and it's on my site too. And it's really fun because then you learn color theory, but you also have an illustration that you're painting. In the first one, we do paint um, mermaids together. It's just a different way of painting. You either um, follow me in painting your own mermaids and I have like uh, something that you can outline to do, or you can use the watercolor mermaid paint by number and then it goes through each one. Um, you actually place that color right there. So that's cool. And then I have a character design um, course, which helps you dress your characters up um, as well. So yeah, keep them coming. I don't mind your questions at all. I was gonna mess with that, but I'm not going to. It's bugging me a little bit because it's not ending with a color, but I'm fine with that. I do not want to mess with that. I've learned that lesson. So yeah, I hope that helps. And it will help you with everything. Fashion. <laughs> Seriously, color theory is everywhere. It helps you design your house. Like understanding color theory is a big deal. It's crazy. It doesn't have to be intimidating and scary. It's equally fun. Um, so I keep trying to mess with this um, icing to get a different Let's see. Kind of like going around.
And another tip is to always, if you like a color that you've mixed, make it a big puddle because you don't want to run out of it. That's the worst. Can you really see this well? I hope you can. I am loving this paper. This paper is cool. It's taking the paint so well and it's not, it doesn't dry super fast. I feel like it all depends on me with my how much water I'm using. It's really nice. And look at how it's drying because I mixed uh, this was cerulean blue and olive green. And you can see that like breaking up. No, it's not bad. This is 15 sheets for like 16. Not bad at all. Fifteen sheets for like sixteen dollars. I like it. Um, do my turquoise, which is my favorite. And then once you understand color theory, you know which colors you can buy after that and why. You know, like greens are hard to mix. Um, purples are hard to mix. When you find those kind of colors uh, or like certain browns, I believe so, I got mine on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description when this is done. Yeah, it wasn't, there wasn't a problem at all with getting it. And something else that I wish I learned a long time ago was feel free to move your stuff around if it's yours. So I don't know why for a long time I was just like, nope, I must draw with my paper. I don't know about in shop for getting it, but um, Amazon had it. This is like a birthday cupcake for, uh, it's like my dad's birthday yesterday. My friend Donata's birthday was yesterday. So cool. So I have a big old bubble, a big old pool of paint and water right there. And I don't want it to dry like that or I'm gonna get a big old, um, a big hard line around it. So I'm gonna soak some of that back up. But then I'll go back in more paint, not a ton of water, put it in there. 
So I do want it darker, but I don't want a big bubble of mixture right there. Um, thank you. Um, I actually stopped the print. Um, I put that in one of the posts. I stopped sending prints, but I'm going to send like digital um, downloads that you can print because I can't mail out everywhere, only US, and at least this way everyone can get the goodies. So if you go to my Patreon, you'll see that update. Um, but thank you. I really appreciate that, Juliet. Appreciate your support. It's so nice. So yeah, this um, paper is awesome. And I got the boom mic. So when I am done with this, I will be setting that up. Looks like everything's going to come except for the um, the friction arm is going to take a while, but hopefully not too long. Um, so the quality is pretty decent with this. Let me know what your thoughts are. I've asked my friends and they said that it looks good, but it's not positive. Just let me know if the sound is great and the visuals are good, not all blurry or anything like that. It looks a little soft to me. All right, I'm really liking this paper. Oh, I can't move it. Okay, because with this setup, I don't have autofocus. That was the only way to really keep it in focus. So I can't move anything, but I hope you can see it. This was really fun. Should I do another, or should I keep doing these art parties? Did you have a good time? Such a different vibe than Instagram live. But I do love that it doesn't just, you know, cut out, like you don't have a time period or anything like that. It's kind of nice. You just know we could just keep going forever. <laughs> I'm glad you are able to make it. Yay! <laughs> Thank you. Well, let me see if I can type in here. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Join the Creator Club. We go. Oh, you can't send, you can't have a website in there. 
Okay. Well, it is um, fluximagery.com slash VIP. Always learning over here. Uh, you have inspired me to go back through your cat through your back catalog on um, Patreon. Cool. I have updated blog posts too. Awesome. All right. Well, I will talk to you soon. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And uh, yeah, this um, paper will be linked below. <laughs> and uh, this was fun. All right. Until next time. Have a great day. Have a great week. Okay. Bye.